गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास सेवन लेसन नंबर टू सो इन दिस वीडियो विल कंटिन्यू एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट सिक्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अप टू एक्सरसाइज थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ टू व्हीलर कवर्स अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर इन वन लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल How much distance will it cover in टेन liters of petrol? So, what is the question? That uh, in वन liter, in वन liter petrol, in वन liter petrol, two wheeler can cover फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर सॉरी हियर वन लीटर पेट्रोल इज सर सो इन टेन लीटर्स ऑफ पेट्रोल हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट कवर सो वॉट यू हेव टू डू हियर यू हेव टू टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन ओके सो वॉट एवर आंसर वॉट इज आंसर 553.0 kilometer it means 553 kilometer question number 5 find here multiplication of two decimal numbers it is given so we have seen the multiplication of decimal numbers and whole numbers here multiplication of two decimal numbers then how to multiply first one 2.5 into 0.3 so what you have to do here without considering decimal point first of all find out the numbers first number is 25 and another is 3 so multiply 25 into 3 25 3 is 75 okay so 25 3 is 75 this is the answer now find out the number of digits on the right side of the decimal points what is the first one 2.5 here is the decimal point in the middle on the right side of the decimal point how many digits are there five it means one digit in the second number 0.3 here decimal point is there after on the right side one digit is there three so 1 plus 1 total two digits you have to consider so answer is 75 and two digits should be there after the decimal point so here 75 you can put here decimal point and here zero okay here how to put the decimal point in the answer what is answer 75 and here we have counted that after the decimal point two digits should be there because here two digits are there on the right side of the decimal point so in this answer you have to go to the left side from the unit place here it is a unit place okay you have to start counting from the unit place this is the first one and seven that that is a second one so first and second two digits then you put the decimal point and here nothing is there so you can put zero so your answer is 0.75 same the second one 0.1 into 51.7 so consider the numbers 1 into 517 so 1 into 517 your answer will be 517 next count the digits on the right most of the decimal point here one and here seven so total two, two digits are there here is answer count the number of digits to one and 2 then here put the decimal point so answer is 5.17 third one 1.3 into 3.1 multiply 13 into 31 so answer is 403 okay here one decimal point here also one 1 plus 1 2 12 then here put the decimal point so answer is 4.03 Fifth one, zero point fourth one, zero point five into zero point zero five. So five five is a twenty five. Here one 
Count the number of digits on the right side of the decimal point. Let's see. 1, 2 and 3. So here 25 is there. Only 2 digits are there. So you can put extra zeros if you want to. If you want to put the decimal point and that uh, in the answer if number of digits are not enough. For, for example, here 3 digits should be there after the decimal point. But here 25 is the answer only 2 digits are there. So before you can put this 0, extra zeros, okay. So 1, 2 and 3 digits and put the decimal point. So answer is 0 0.025. Fourth, fifth one. Here also examples are there. I am sorry. Third one, 0 0.2 into 316.8. So multiply 3168 into 2. Whatever answer you will get that is a 6336 that is answer. Count the digits 1 and 2. So here also 1 and 2 and then put the decimal point. This is the sixth one. Same thing multiply 112 into 15. Count the rightmost digit to the right side of the decimal point it is a 1 2 and 3 so you can see point after 3 point the digits are there then next seventh one and multiply 107 into 2 because no need to consider consider decimal point when you are multiplying the numbers so you'll get answer 240. Count the digits on the right side of the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 digits are there. Here only 3 digits. You can put extra zeros. Okay. So, count. start counting from the unit place. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then put the decimal point. Eighth one. This is the example. So, what is the question? One zero zero five into one zero five. Multiply both the numbers. These numbers are very big, but but I think multiplication is easy. So, I'm not going to do here multiplication. That you have to do in a rough book. One zero five five. 2, 5. This number you will get after multiplication. Count down the digits on the rightmost. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Here start counting from the unit place. 1, 2, 3, 4. And put the decimal point. Very simple. Next. Remove the decimal point. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And here 1. Because 0, 0, 1. Here is a decimal point that no need to put here. So, 0, 0, 1 that also you can write 1. Okay. So, multiplication you will get 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Count the digits 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also start counting from the right most digit or I mean from the unit place 1, 2, 3, 4 your decimal point. Last tenth one, remove the decimal point one zero zero point. I mean, no need to put decimal point, so it will be zero one. Okay, one three plus zero one multiplied by one point one, it means eleven. So you'll get answer one one zero one one. That is the answer. Count down the digits one two three. Okay, here now. After getting the number of digits on the right side of the decimal point, you have to go to the answer. This is the answer, okay? But actually, this is not the final answer. You have to put the decimal point because here it is a multiplication of decimal numbers. So, three digits you have to count from the unit place 1, 2, and 3, and then put the decimal point. So, your answer is 11.011. Actually here in the answer mistake is there, 
may be in the question it can be in the question or it can be in the answer okay so if this is the question and if that is correctly printed then your answer should be 11011 okay that should be the answer and i think you should check the multiplication also so here maybe some printing mistake is there that you can check yourself next exercise 2.7 here what you have to do here also question number 1 find 0.4 divided by 2 so as we have done in the previous exercise when there is a division then you are not going to divide it but you have to multiply the reciprocal number how to multiply 0.4 divided by 2 this 04 0.4 is dividend and 2 that is a division sure okay so what you have to do you have to find out the reciprocal of division 2 is there okay so what is the reciprocal its recipro reciprocal will be 1 by 2 so you are going to multiply 0.4 into reciprocal of 2 that is a 1 by 2 so we can say it is a Zero point four into one by two. Okay. Now here it is given decimal number. So what you have to do further? Remove this decimal point. Four divided by ten. If you remove decimal point, then you have to put ten down. Four divided by ten into one divided by two. Okay. Now two to the four. So what is remaining? I am writing here two upon ten. Okay, so this is not my not your final answer. You have to find out the decimal number. Two divided by ten, so you'll get zero point two. Okay, this is the answer zero point two. Next, zero point thirty five, zero point three five divided by five. Okay. Let's see this example. Zero point three five. So you are going to remove the decimal point. So you'll get three five divided by hundred. It means thirty five divided by hundred. Next, this division sign convert into multiplication sign. Okay. Next, five reciprocal reciprocal of five. That is a one upon five. So in short, you will get thirty five. Upon hundred multiplied by one upon five. Now, don't cut this hundred because after simplifying this answer, you need to convert given number into decimal point. So, if you will have ten, hundred, or thousand in the denominator, then it will be easy to convert into that into the decimal number. Suppose here you'll cut uh, this by five, and you'll write here twenty, and five seven. So you'll write here seven. Again, you have to divide the seven by twenty. So it will take time. But if you will have, I'm sorry, thirty-five divided by hundred into one upon five. So you'll cut this five seven. So okay. So what you have seven upon hundred. So now it's easy to convert into decimal number. This seven upon hundred. So seven upon hundred, so you'll get zero point zero seven. That is the answer. Third one. Two point forty eight divided by four. So remove this decimal point. Two forty eight divided by hundred, and this four multiplied by one upon four. Four and two forty eight. Simplify. You'll get sixty-two. Now sixty-two divided by hundred, zero point sixty-two. Next fourth one. This sixty-five point four. It will be six five four divided by ten. And this six you will convert into reciprocal. So multiplied by one upon six. Now divide this six fifty-four and six. You'll get one hundred nine. One hundred nine divided by ten. It means ten point nine. Fourth one. 
remove the decimal point and 4 that convert into reciprocal so multiply by 1 upon 4 divide 4 by 6 5 1 2 so you'll get after division 1 6 2 8 and put the decimal point according to the denominator so remaining three examples are also very easy try yourself so here question number one is over in the next video we will see let's start with the question number two